Hello, this is Andrew from Trend Following Mentor. And in today's episode, I want to talk to you about trading psychology and really the psychology of winning. A lot of times you hear about discipline. Discipline in trading and that you need to be patient and disciplined and have a plan. Well, that's all really, that's true. But the question is, what really is discipline? And I was thinking about it today, and really what discipline is, it's a belief system that's in sync with your goals. And you have to say, okay, well, what are your goals for trading? People are going to say, I want to make money. Well, I'm going to throw something different to you. My goals, and they've been the same goals since 1994, is to compound money over long periods of time. And you really need discipline to stay focused. Why do you need to stay focused? Because to be very upfront with you, and this is not sugarcoating anything or any of this get-rich-quick nonsense that you're going to hear on the internet, trading is difficult. You go through periods where you're going to have drawdowns. You're going to go through periods in which you don't make money. Long periods of time. But the idea is, what does your, let's say, equity curve look like over 10 years or 15 years? And I have a, actually, I think you can even see it behind me. Oops, I'm going to shift a little bit. This equity curve behind me. This keeps me focused. I know what my goal is. I know what my goal is, and I'm going to say it's not 10 years or 15 years. It's for the rest of my life, is to keep on compounding money. And I know that I'm going to have flat periods. I know I'm going to have drawdowns, but I don't give up. I have the discipline to stay focused in my goal. And really what I do in my trading and the trading that I teach, I teach a robust methodology. Is it rocket science? No. It's robust. It teaches, it, it basically t trades, excuse me, all markets, all time frames, exactly the same. On average, I've done plus, minus, close to the mid-teens. But the idea is that you know that's robust and it's you know it's reasonable returns, and I stayed out of big trouble. But the key of creating wealth has been time, and I've been doing this for 18 years, and the idea of compounding all of those returns. So, you know, it's like people talk about the holy grail. They look for these magic indicators, and they spend so much time on these indicators. It's ridiculous. I learned, once I stopped learning, looking for this holy grail and these magical indicators and just focus on a methodology and be consistent and stay focused, I've compounded money. And it hasn't been easy. The idea is that I have a goal. I'm committed to this goal. I'm committed to this goal to reach for my children, for my family. Again, it's not easy. This is what discipline is. It means taking every trade not second-guessing yourself. I've had students that they've done the work, they have the setup, and they don't take the trade. They get afraid. I mean, that's not discipline. That's not sticking to the plan. You need a trading plan like in anything else that you do in life. If it's a plan to lose weight, it isn't just, you know, you go buy a book or go to the gym. You have to be committed to that goal. You have to really want that goal. You have to be passionate about this goal. Like, I'm passionate about my goal to compound money. Like, in sports, think about the Olympics are coming up. Any of these athletes, there's such a small, minute difference between any of them in their, let's say, between winning and just not even getting the bronze medal. It's wanting it. That's what I want. I want to be a long-term, consistent trader. And that's what I want you to be. So this is what I talk about with discipline. It isn't some esoteric word like patience to tell you to be patient. In order to compound money, you have to have the discipline and the patience. And for those of you that really do seek the Holy Grail, which there isn't any magic indicator, I'll tell you this, this is the Holy Grail. A robust trading methodology that trades all markets the same, all time frames the same, that has a heavy risk management and I'll qualify. Risk management doesn't mean you're going to have every trade work. Most trades are not going to work. That means you're going to lose money. And it's okay to lose money. Because if you don't lose money, you're going to be like Madoff. It doesn't exist. And then you need time, years, to compound money. And the whole essence of compounding, let's say you made on $100, you made 15%, so it's 115 The next year, if you do 
10 percent. It's 10 percent on the 115. It becomes mathematically tremendous, like Einstein said. In this thought process, you can create over time with patience and discipline, wealth, extreme wealth. Again, it's not easy. It's not a get rich quick. It's not a high win ratio. It's not sugarcoating anything. You will have long periods of time that trades, you just don't make money. And most of your trades won't work. This is what makes trading so hard. This is why 90 some odd percent of the people fail when they trade. You have a choice. You can fail, not trade without a plan, watch the news, listen to CNBC, Bloomberg, trade on their tips, look for tips, or develop a trading plan. This is what it all boils down to. Developing a trading plan, believing in the trading plan, this trading plan which matches your, your personality, that you're comfortable trading and you believe in, and then letting it work over time. This is what it's all about. This is what success long-term trading is. And it's elusive. It's not easy. But if you want me to be, I can be your mentor. I can help you. Thank you very much.